Hi, I'm back. I am here to tell you your funny thing of the day, which is going to be funny to tell you, and it actually is part of my story. Um, I am talking a little funny today because this morning I went in to get the rest of my dental stuff set up so I could get my bottom part of my mouth completely fixed and, well, and then the top just freshened up, I guess. <laughs> But, um, when I went in, I showed him a spot that was hurting, and I thought it was part of a tooth. Well, um, long story short, I've had to bounce around a little bit again, <laughs> and, uh, I had to drive an hour this morning to get there, and originally I had a whole different plan, so I did it really early, and anyone who knows me, I'm not a worrying person. <laughs> so, um... I got up in the morning and I got there and I showed him the spot that was bothering me and he says, oh, okay, yeah, we got to fix that, but we're still going to do all your impressions and all that stuff. I'm like, okay. So, we go ahead and I didn't realize that the part he had to fix meant that he had to, um, I don't know, take this really crazy, like, sandblaster thingy shit to what I thought was a tooth was actually my bone. So, I had to have um, my mouth cut open and a big chunk of my bone pile down today. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Bet your date doesn't sound so bad now, does it? <laughs> but, um, so, I go in and I'm when the girl goes, goes to do my impression. Um, I don't know anyone who's ever had to do this, but it's, uh, it's very gooey and a whole bunch of nasty shit starts going toward the back of your throat. And the girl was like, okay, just breathe through your mouth, breathe through your mouth. And I was just like, what the hell? She's kind of, <laughs> she's a very laid back, sweet lady. And she just seemed a little almost high strung, like she needed to make sure that I knew. Breathe through your nose. I'm like, okay. And, and she's like, you're doing so good. I'm like, all right, thank you. I, I had the top done before, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but thank you. And she says, well, doctor said you have such a small mouth, you know, we never know. I'm like, you don't know me very well, big fucking mouth. In more ways than one, I can yell at everybody at once. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, then, all that goo starts going back, and I maintained, and I was fine. And then she pulls up, she says, ah, girls are so much better than boys at this. So what do you mean? And she says, usually the guys throw up all over themselves, because apparently a gag reflex is not in their DNA. Like, that's pretty bad. So, you know, we get all of this nasty, gross, eh, done. And, um, she's like, okay. And I brought a mask in, which I wore most of the day, because I know I needed to get done. I'm going to be glad once it's done, but I'm still very self-conscious. And I was just raised in a household that you don't really, uh, <laughs> it's you. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm geeked about getting it fixed. And, um, I have the mask. And the girl says, uh, all right, well, stop at the bathroom. I'm like, why do I stop at the bathroom? She says, well, because you got white shit all over your mouth. <laughs> I'm like, so I got good Greg reflux, and apparently I have white shit all over my face. She goes, just put your mask on, nobody will notice. I go, really? I think I still should probably clean it off, because I need the mask to slip down, and then see me have just white shit all over my mouth, and I'm just going to try to cover it up. You just imagine what kind of a really cool... I don't know, reputation that would give someone. <laughs> I just, I had to laugh that my morning woke up. I was so out in the middle of crazy traffic, which thank God for my mother. If she hadn't shown me how to drive, and I never would have made it through this morning. And then I go into the dentist, and they have to do all these things. I get told that she's glad that I didn't throw up all over myself. <laughs> I have white shit all over my mouth. I have to wear a black mask. Because that was the only one I had on me, because nobody really worse than where I'm at. So, yeah, it was, it was it was great. And then all day I'm pulling plaster, latex, whatever the hell it was on my mouth. I felt like a brick and... Ugh. I felt gross. <laughs> so, it was a good day, though. Overall, it all ended up well. Um, I made sure that I cleaned myself up before I can... 
I can tell people about the joke, but I didn't want to actually show people the joke that is, look, I can look like a dirty whore real quick. <laughs> I'm good. So, I hope that at least made you chuckle. I had to find that happy part of my day. It was, um, it was a really bad day today. And, uh, it took a long time until I got to tonight, and, um, I came across a person I didn't know, and she did that thing that I always hope my videos will do for everyone else and she made me smile and she just made me feel better in general and it wasn't she was there to provide a service that you know customer service experience and she was kind of able to talk me down from a ledge I was on in my head you know so I mean it was just it was good it was nice and I'm glad that there's still people out there in the world that try so I hope you have a great day had a great day <laughs> Um, and I hope you have a good one tomorrow, and I will be back, and, I don't know, hopefully a little less fangled. <laughs> Getting close, so only a week to go. <laughs> so, um, have a great day, everybody, and I hope you're all doing well. Bye.